love this world. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. This is Dallas here. We're here on episode 233, and today we're going to be doing all kinds of things. Look! I got a turtle egg. And look! Hang on. Hold your horses. I got another turtle egg. <laughs> yeah, um, I found a turtle way over there, and I brought him over here and bred him with the one that was in here, and it gave me two eggs. So now we can... Uh, let these guys grow up um so like i said i want to do all kinds of stuff today i've just been kind of messing around and as you can see here we got a little something going on i'm trying ex to experiment here so this is our front yard that's daisy and this is our front yard and it's always been kind of just nothing i've always been working around the house or i don't even think we have a backyard but this i like to consider this our front yard and it has a bunch of holes in it from all these old caves um, and these pumpkins that have been here since we found the place. Um, I'm not going to get rid of these, but I want to spruce it up a bit. I want to get rid of these holes right here because they kind of bother me. And I actually want to have a proper front yard. So, um, as you can see right here, I'm kind of doing so I kind of like this. It adds different colors since we're working with so much wood. So, I'm kind of feeling that. I feel like I'm committing a crime patching these up because it's just a part of our world that's been here forever, but... I'm tired of looking at them when I look out my front balcony area. I just want a normal front yard. <laughs> okay, before we continue on this, I was just walking through my house and something just hit me. Not physically, but what I was thinking. Um, I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now in what I want to do here. I kind of want to do a garden, but then I don't want to do a garden in my front yard. I want it to be open, so we're not going to do that yet. I found a perfect room. So, um... You know how I've always been wanting my closet, right? I didn't want any... I have a lot of rooms about this size in my house, but I never wanted one like this because it's not big enough. And I know that sounds crazy, but um, like for certain armors, I want to have a big display for it. So I found a room I think will be perfect. And that room is going to be right here. Why? Because it's perfect, really. It's long, it has room... It's an empty room that I've never used. You can ignore the ceiling, though. That will definitely change. And it's right next to my bedroom. So when I wake up, I can just walk up my branch and put on my daily clothes. And the reason I'm doing a closet and not like an armory is because we already have an armory. And that is way over there that, you know, uh, we don't really go in there as much. It's because I don't know why, but we should. Um, that is where we build the armor and make the armor. This is where stuff that is ready to be worn will be held. Um, so I got a lot of work to do. I got some ideas in mind. Hope I have enough room. I hope this won't get in the way. Uh, let's get to work. All right, so hopefully this will look good. Uh, need a little bit more of that. More of that. And some of that. All right, we're going to have a lot of armor stands in here, which is kind of scary because we're right above the sign room. And there's going to be some very important armor in here. And I hope that bug in the game where armor doesn't disappear from armor stands is still in here because, <laughs> like I said, we're going to have some important armor in here. So, um... Here are these little things. I, I I went into creative mode on my test world and tried out a few different designs, and I think this looks good. Uh, so we're going to have two important armors here. Not the one I'm wearing, but this is going to be for these guys right here. The dragon armor and the wither armor. Um, because we're still going to wear these when we fight. Oh my gosh, that is almost... Oh, the thorns really destroyed that one. Um, so let's go ahead and bring those over there. Holy crap, I love how much diamond enchanted armor glows. It looks so good. All right, so we got that. Then we're going to wrap it in this. I tried stained glass in different types, but nothing looks as good as this because the glow of the armor doesn't come through as well when it's stained glass. So this will look good enough. And a lot of you are still asking me why am I not using the updated textures like the beta. It's because glass looks terrible in it right now. Actually... Actually, I don't know how it'll look on this, though. It might make it look more clear. I'll go... Once I get this done, we'll switch to it and check it and see what it looks like. Okay, so for how I want this room design to be, I'm afraid I might have to get rid of my little pond up here. Um, as much as I like it, it's just... It won't work. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to have to get rid of it. <laughs> because I want this to go up another thing in glass, and then I'm going to put upside down stairs... And then I want a fancy ceiling design. I don't want it to be just one color. And if I want that to happen, I need to get rid of these right here. Oh, man, I love these cases. You know what? Why don't I do that as well? Put... 
one of the sea lanterns. Would that look good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, that looks so much better. So it turns out you can't die text on signs yet. I thought you could. Everyone was telling me you could. And then I finally try it and you can't. <laughs> um, turns out you can only do it on Java right now, not this game. So, uh, let's try this out. Um, I know you can do that special text thing where you have to pick that weird squiggly S and then pick a number. But I, I can't do that on my laptop. I have none of those keys. So, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll just pick a light. Let's try this. Oh, what's that? No, go away. Uh, dragon gear. I don't know if this will look good or not. Eh. I prefer, like, a dark oak sign with white letters, but whatever. That works, I guess. Alright, so change of plans entirely. This is no longer going to be the closet. I know. I know. But there, we're still going to make one. Um, it's just going to be full of, like, clothes and stuff. Uh, but this is going to be the battle room. It just makes more sense. It With these in here currently like this, it doesn't really make sense to have some of the like like cabinets on the side of the walls with clothes. Or maybe I will. Maybe this won't end up being the way I like it. It's all about experiments. Uh, experimentation, I mean. Um, so, yeah, what is this, you ask? I don't know. Uh, it's. I think this is... If I want this to be the battle room, this is going to be a big, like system th I don't even know what I'm gonna call it I'm just gonna flip a lever and it's gonna open up and it's gonna have all of my gear in it that I bring with either one of these fights such as the bow swords golden apples health potions and all that so I'm gonna try to wire up something here and if it doesn't look good I might just switch back to a closet <laughs> okay I've been spending quite some time on this because I'm kind of bad at mixing design with redstone but this is kind of what I came up with I don't know if I'm feeling it or not so I just wanted, like, a thing back there to make it look like kind of like a natural wall, even though it doesn't. It's definitely something. <laughs> and then just this lever over here, you flip that, and that's what it would be. I would replace these windows with a normal block, probably those, and I'll just have item frames on each one holding the most important things. Eh? <laughs> the reason I have these trapdoors here as well is because, of course, when it's extended, those are visible. Um... Of course, I would cover those up somehow. I don't know. Tell me, guys, what you think, because I'm stuck right now either between making this a battle room and having it like that. If I do do that, I'm going to have to redesign this because I don't like the way it looks right now. Or should I turn it into the closet where I'll just get rid of that completely, keep these here, but then just have some more armor stands on the walls of all my different kind of outfits and stuff. Hard decision. Ah, oh. Finally gonna fix this since I have oh, that's not enough is it? Oh, I think I just wasted it. Okay I'm, Oh, no, it's enough. No, it's not enough. Is it enough? No, I'm one off Ah We need I need to farm my people is there slime chunks finders For this game yet the bedrock. I'm gonna go check online real quick. Well, I've got terrible news anyway. I never even realized. I never even checked. My seed got turned to zero somehow. And the only way this is possible, I've had this happen before, and when it turns to zero, like, it starts getting chunk errors at places you haven't explored. And as you know, recently we've discovered I have really bad chunk errors. Man, that sucks. Why didn't I notice that? I didn't even do anything to change it to zero. I guess maybe... The update did that or something when it turns to zero that means it's no longer a seed and you can't plug it into stuff to find stuff out such as finding out where slime chunks are man and I just realized not too long ago my seed no longer works uh, if you use my seed you will not get in the world I get in so the only way to get my world now is to download my world okay got the new textures on and holy crap planks looked so much better why did he ruin them I don't understand. He's fixing the stuff we don't want to be fixed, and he's ruining the stuff that... What on earth? Planks used to look way better. Now they just look... Ew. They were like... Oh my gosh. And the glass. I'm sorry. The glass looks awful. It just looks like a plastic texture pack now. I just wanted to check what they look like in here. Okay, it's a bit more visible, but... Didn't grow on me. Got rid of it. I'm just going to have a simple walk-in closet with a bunch of shelves to put all my stuff on that I wear. Um, I think I like that a lot better. 
Um, I'm gonna try to make some ceiling stuff with you guys here because I never really build with you on camera. I'm always just like cut it and then show you what I built. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try this. I tried it the opposite colors there. Like this was oak and this was spruce, but it didn't look right. Let's try this. That didn't really look too right either. Ah, this is so difficult for some reason. Why didn't it look right? Here, let's try both. Do a little bit of that. And then this can go in between. Does that look all right? No, it doesn't. Why doesn't it look good? Okay, let me reverse the 3D-ness. <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing? What the heck, guys? Every variation I could possibly think of looks stupid in this room. And it's literally driving me crazy i'm getting so mad because nothing works like what is going on i mean i'm talking about the ceiling design not not everything else as you can see i went with a full spruce ceiling and put upside down stairs on the sides and then i have lamps in certain areas and then if i do it all spruce it just looks too boring so i was like all right i'm gonna do a little something around it but no wood type looks good around it. This is, like, annoying me so much. Okay, screw it. I'm done. I came up with something that I'm reasonably okay with. But at this point, I'm just like, okay, I'm going with it. I'm tired of tearing it off. I've tore the ceiling down about probably ten times. Oh, man. Um, I'm not even really happy with it. I mean, I just did this little pattern with spruce logs and stripped it. It just still looks meh. Maybe it's just a ceiling. No, the ceiling didn't look good, though, because it matches that. I'm just going to have to try it again in between episodes. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm done working in this room for now. There's a little bit left to be done, such as I want some more shelves on this side, and then we got to go around the house and get all the garments that we wear sometimes and put it in here. Um, all right. That looks good. Whoa. Why can you see the butt? I don't know why, but I've always loved this view right here. Just something about it. I like all the trees and foliage and what is george doing down there <laughs> i saw that when i was editing yesterday how on earth i think he was just walking through there and maybe when i logged off he glitched out and fell and he's stuck right there oh oh yeah he must have fell and he can't get through that fence and he doesn't want to walk off that side how on earth am i going to get him back inside because you can't oh looky there can you Hey, George. What are you doing? Oh, you can leash him. Oh, that is good news. Come with me, buddy. You got to get back in. How are you going to get in? I know a place. Follow me. Silly George. Don't step on the cat. Careful. Oh, my God. All right. There you go. There. Now you're back inside. Do your thing. Guard my house. All right. Time to do the comment question of the Dizay. Uh, today's comes from... Immortal Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, whoa. You like GMM too. What other YouTubers or YouTube shows do you watch? Okay, I just went through my subscription feed to figure out who I've been watching. And it's literally, like, I used to watch so much YouTube, especially Minecraft videos. But I haven't watched someone else's Minecraft video in, like, it feels like half a year. It's, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's... it's Oh, I'm just now going back to school, so I don't know what it's been. I know, I guess Minecraft videos I haven't been really watching a whole lot is because I do them myself, edit them, wait for them to process, make the thumbnail. I just get too much of it, so I'm just like, all right, I don't want to watch any. I, but yeah, literally all I watch right now is Good Mythical Morning because I love Rhett and Link. That show is just feels home to me. I just love it so much. Watched it since their first and second, or I, I think I started watching around third season. Um, and other than that, just like, PewDiePie, <laughs> literally. I have so I'm scrolling through them right here, right now. I have so many. Like I'm just gonna name random ones: Python, Rage Elixir, Robaz, Scumpy, Shroud, Skylinox, uh, Such Spade, Tesla, The Real Rejects, The Gaming Lemon, T Martin, Tobuscus, Tom Scott, Vsauce, Will Smith. I have so many subscriptions: Nigahiga, Markiplier, KSI, Jojo Pet. Jack Frost Miner, iJevin, 
Hightail. Ha! <laughs> Grian. Full-grown gamer. Frankie on PC. He doesn't upload anymore, which is so sad. Etho. I haven't watched Etho in forever. Uh, Cow Chop. They're amazing. Actually, yeah, I used to binge watch Cow Chop all the time. They're so funny. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you get the idea. Um... I have so many. I just don't really watch YouTube. I'm, I'm more of a Netflix person now because they're adding so much stuff to that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just YouTube is kind of a mad place for me right now. I just go when I'm waiting. What the heck? Did you see that? Whoa! 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 <laughs> that is so cool. I didn't know you could do that. You can, like, play Ring Around Rosie with it. Ugh. Get away. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.